This is Ricky Burns, and you're watching Sport and Icons. Okay, so only five fights ago, Jordan Gill gets stopped by Tanako. Now, Tanako at that time, he had five defeats on his record. So that's only five fights ago. So I don't quite know who would sign off on Jordan Gill taking on Kiko Martinez. Who would do that? Kiko Martinez, okay, people are making a big deal of his age, 36. 36 in this era, with all the strength and conditioning and the nutrition and everything, isn't 36 years old of fighters compared to say 15, 20 years ago, it isn't. 36 years old in today's era is like 26 to 30, right? So people are still looking at like these mid to late 30 year olds as if they're over the hill and they're washed up. Kiko Martinez is a guy who's been in there with Scott Quigg, Gary Russell Jr., Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton. His last couple of fights have been who? Josh Warrington. Knocked out Kid Galahad. This is who Kiko Martinez is in there with against Jordan Gill. Kiko Martinez absolutely bludgeons Jordan Gill. Bludgeons him. Round three and round four knocks him down twice in both rounds. Dave Colwell rightfully throws a towel in. And he was an absolute mess. His face was a mess. It really was. And I don't know why Jordan Gill would be defending the European featherweight title against Kiko Martinez. If I was him and his team, I'd have vacated it. There's no shame in that. But ultimately, he did take the fight and this is what happens. This is what happens. Kiko Martinez winds the clock back and all that kind of good stuff, I understand. But just because he's got, got, what, 11 defeats on his record, he's been stopped five times, Kiko Martinez. But he only really loses to top opposition. He lost twice to Josh Warrington. And now it looks like he could well be fighting Josh Warrington for a third time now. I don't get it. I don't, I really don't get it. But credit to Jordan Gill. Okay, the first two rounds, he was in there. He was in there. But Kiko Martinez does what Kiko Martinez does. He waits. He waits for you. He sees what it is that you're going to do. He reads it and he counters it. And if you let him on the front foot, he's going to do you. Dave Colwell and Jordan Gill and the team should have really looked at how to beat Kiko Martinez. How to beat Kiko Martinez, you need to follow the blueprint of a Josh Warrington. Somebody who doesn't get many knockouts. That's the blueprint that you follow. Even Kid Galahad, the way that he was handling Kiko Martinez up until Kiko Martinez landed that big punch in the round before he stopped him. I don't know why Jordan Gill would decide to drop down the right hand and take those big left hooks of Kiko Martinez. And then, of course, he's getting followed up with the right hands and whatever else. He got absolutely bludgeoned. Bludgeoned is what, is what happened. And, and this is going to be hard for Jordan Gill to come back from because now this is twice that he's been stopped. Now, there's nothing wrong with fighters taking a loss. Nothing wrong with that. Jordan Gill, he can bounce back, but it's going to be hard. Very, very hard. They should have reined him back a little bit. Give him a few more fights like he's been fighting recently. Build him up a little bit more. That bit more experience in the ring. Of course, when I say experience, it's not like a Jordan Gill is too inexperienced. I mean, you know, he's had 29 fights now. But with the level of opposition that he's been fighting, you kind of build it up gradually. You build it up gradually. Um, you know, it was fighting guys who had 11 losses on his record two fights ago. Five losses on his record Last fight, nine losses on his record, three fights ago. See, these are the kind of guys, and then you fight Kiko Martinez. That's bad. That is bad. Anyway, hopefully Jordan Gill's going to be okay. I'm sure his pride's hurt more than anything else. But credit to him. He kept on coming back. He didn't quit. He wanted to continue. But I think Dave Caldwell did the right decision by throwing the towel in. He did. But anyway, what can you do? Live and learn, I suppose. Congratulations to Kiko Martinez and the new European featherweight champion. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.